Hi, I'm Congressman Ron Kine. You know, our system of government was set up with many checks and balances to ensure that one branch of government doesn't overreach. So earlier this week, the United States Supreme Court took a closer look at the Affordable Care Act to see whether or not it was constitutional. They concluded that it was. And I was grateful for that decision because I immediately thought about a three-year-old little boy by the name of Henry who I had a chance to meet in western Wisconsin. You see, his mother told me that before Henry was even born, he suffered a seizure in her womb, and therefore, the very first breath that he took in life, they were informed that he was uninsurable because he had a pre-existing condition. I know that we're better than that as a nation, and yet Henry's family was depleting their entire life savings to ensure that he was getting the health care that he needed. And they knew that with passage of the Affordable Care Act, that that would change immediately for Henry's life and for that family and for 39,000 other children with pre-existing condition in western Wisconsin. I never claim that the Affordable Care Act was a perfect bill. We have to learn what works and what doesn't work in the health care system and make changes along the way. But it does provide important tools to help build out a health information technology system with electronic medical records so we can improve the efficiency of care and reduce medical errors and start collecting data so we know what does work and what doesn't work in healthcare treatment. There are tools in it to change the way healthcare is delivered so it is more integrated, coordinated, patient-centered, exactly the models of care that our healthcare providers throughout Wisconsin have been showing for years. And we can do that under this bill. And then finally, we need to strive for changing the way we pay for health care so it is based on the value or the outcome of care given and no longer the volume of care that's rendered. Because studies show that we're spending close to one out of every three health care dollars, up to $800 billion a year on tests and procedures and things that don't work. They don't improve patient care. So the tools in the Affordable Care Act can enable us to focus on those crucial areas to help bring prices down to make it more affordable for families, for businesses, and for our public budgets alike, because this is the largest and fastest growing area of spending bar none. So if we ever hope to get this economy back on track, creating good paying jobs, we have to stay focused as well on bending the cost curve, reducing the cost of health care so that families can better afford it, so that businesses will be more competitive globally, and so we can finally start reducing these large budget deficits that we're facing uh, in, in our government. So I'm looking forward to being able to hear more suggestions from people back home, ideas that you might have, and what we can do working together to improve the health care system. Because the political war has to end over this. And we have to have the ability to start coming together, work hard to find common ground, and come up with some common sense solutions that will ensure quality, accessible, and affordable health care for all Americans.